and welcome to The Gadget Show. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, this week's challenge sees Jason and Dallas going head to head in a series of competitive tasks. And they began by heading to the water side to see who could have the most fun, the most gadgety <laughs> fun, being towed very fast behind a boat. Right, Jace, I've got something that you are going to absolutely love. Okay. This is the world's oh. first can, can beam pictures to it from any of your computers in your house wirelessly. I it's extraordinary. It's, I think... Really exciting technology. Hey, something else that you're going to be excited about is our top five this week, because I've been looking at the top five gadget watches. G-Shocks are an old favourite of the gadget show, and this is the latest version, and it's practically indestructible, isn't it? It's a lot of fun, this watch. James, why is this so special? Mostly because it's just so beautiful. OK, time now for a little experiment, because we want to find out whether high-definition Blu-ray is all it's cracked up to be, or, as some people seem to be suggesting, can you get just as good a result if you buy yourself an upscaling DVD player and play your DVDs through that onto your high-def telly? A new line of pixels by copying parts of the surrounding pixels. What they're trying to do is, is guess what the high-def picture should look like. Yeah, and if you can't really tell the difference, you can make a massive saving if you think about it, because obviously upscaling DVD players generally are much cheaper than Blu-ray players. And the discs definitely are, because come and look at this. On Amazon here, John's been looking for a few minutes. What, yeah. what do you think? Do you think it's fair to say, then, that Blu-ray is much better than upscale DVD? Definitely. Jace? Yeah, I think it's worth the extra money. OK, now it's time for the focus group. Welcome back. Let's get straight on with this week's competitive challenge between him and Jason Finch. Involved one of Jason's absolute favourite hobbies, computer gaming. And we wanted to find out whether you could turn a complete novice like Dallas into somebody that could be good enough to beat an accomplished gamer like Jason. A sort of nature versus nurture type thing. Yeah, and to make things more interesting, make sure Jason didn't do any sneaky practising. We kept him completely in the dark about what he was up to. <gasps> Genius. Oh, that was so wow. close, wasn't it? Hey, four all, did you think you could take it? So I had to alter my game. Well, but, I mean, your, your, your improvement was amazing. Thank you. Well, well done to both of you, you. But would you consider yourself to be a, a true gamer now? Oh, I love Oh, that's all we've got time for this week. So we shall bid you farewell. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. Bye.